Good morning guys, we are in Pedia Nature Reserve and today we are going to be going for a little bit of a nature walk. It's about two and a half hours, six kilometers. So let's go. To get on this tour we actually had to get up 5.30 or 5.40 because we had to meet up at 20 past 6 to get the bus into the park. Now I think it's about 7 o'clock and we're crossing this river. Is it part of the lake? It's part of the reservoir maybe. Yeah, part of the reservoir to get over to the other side and start the walk and hopefully we will find some wildlife. So our guide just told us that this was originally an elephant reserve and then in 1978 it uh, started the tiger protection project so it became a tiger reserve and in 96 I think he said they started doing like a kind of a tourism development with walks and stuff. Uh, this is a man-made lake. It's Misty, it's beautiful. We ran into some elephant footprints because there are still elephants here. They look pretty big. I think he said it was a small elephant, but I think the footprints look really big. Another animal that you can spot are bisons, and there are apparently a massive amount of bison footprints here. Haven't seen one yet though. We haven't actually spotted anything. We saw some deer when we came in on the bus, but that's about it so far. And some bird life, a lot of bird life. Apparently there's a bison being spotted somewhere. So we're gonna go and try and have a look for it. I think two bison, okay. Let's see if we can find them. So our first proper wildlife spotting of the two or three. There were three. I think there are three bison in there. I hope we manage to get some shots of them. It's like the bison has seen us, one of them, and he's really big. And every time we walk, he stops and turns around to check that we're not going for him, I think. Well, also we've got to walk that way as well. Yes, and we have a cross there, and we don't really want to cross his path. You heard that sound, right? That's actually the bison calling out. I'm not sure what he's calling for. Mummy. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because we're here? Or he's calling out for his friends? Ah, oh, this is really cool. I don't have to see any other animals. This is cool enough. Can you hear the monkeys? Probably monkeys or bird. Could be monkey. Well, we've seen some form of wild animal now, so pretty happy. They're so big, the bison. Absolutely massive. Really impressive. Anyway, let's see what else we can find. Look at this view. Not only do we have an amazing view, Right behind me, there's also a big herd mm -hmm. of bison over there. We've seen more bison, as you can see, and some wild boar as well. I'm used to seeing wild boar in Spain occasionally, in the mountains. Oh, we've got some elephants. That was an incredible backdrop to see the elephants. I mean, I think the, the backdrop did it all. Without the backdrop, it wouldn't have been like that. And then that we got to see a husk elephant as well. Yeah. That was pretty amazing. Husk or tusk? Tusk. Tusk elephant. Tusk? Tusk, tusk elephant, yeah, I mean, incredible. incredible. Yeah, who needs to see a tiger? 5.30 this morning, trying to get up for this, trying to think, oh, is it going to be worth it? Is it going to be worth it? And, uh, Yes, it was definitely worth getting up for. Even if you don't see any animals, it's absolutely beautiful in here this time of year. It's, um, what are we, end of February, and there was mist this morning, really, really beautiful. So even without the animals, it would have been worth it because it's just 
it's really peaceful, really nice, hearing all the animal sounds, especially the bison sounds, they're pretty cool. <laughs> These kind of trees, you have them everywhere in Asia, but they're so impressive. The root system, is it like one tree or is it? I think it's one tree, yeah. One or tree. maybe two it looks, parasite. Yeah, I think one tree is parasiting on another tree, but you see this everywhere in Asia and it's, it looks so cool. It looks so, what would you call it? Jungly. Jungly. Well, Jungly. we are in the jungle. We are in the jungle. Let's look up. Freaking awesome really quiet but then you have all the bird song going on all around all the time it's really really nice Alex says it feels like being in an English forest and it kind of does in a way just with interesting bird sounds <laughs> yeah more bird sounds what I mean more is tropical because bird sounds. you can see it's just leaves it just leaves everywhere so that's why I kind of get that feeling of an autumn although much warmer than an autumn <laughs> forest in England. And you get a more tropical feeling as well yeah. because of all these trees parasiting on the other trees yeah. and all the root systems and yeah, it's really nice. It's beautiful. I want to spot some more elephants. I don't think we're going to spot any more No, I don't think we're gonna, but <laughs> that was really cool. For our friends from Jaipur, it wasn't very exotic with elephants. We've seen a lot of elephants too, but it's just another thing when you see them in the mm. wild. With that backdrop. And not, yeah, with that <laughs> backdrop and not in the sanctuary and not in captivity. Yeah, absolutely. Let's continue enjoying this nice leisurely walk through a forest. Apparently we have spotted some kind of owl I don't know what kind of owl, I don't know where it is, but I'm gonna head there. Where is it? It's gone. Oh no! We missed it! Too slow, looking at the monkeys for too long. Because <laughs> we're impressed by monkeys. Yes. Ooh. Check out these mushrooms, they're like plastic, almost like paper, like hard paper, cardboard. That is so cool. Yeah. Don't know if they've got any hallucinogenic properties. <laughs> Spotted a um, Malabar giant square. Malabar is this area, the coast here is called Malabar. It's really, really difficult to, to get on camera because we don't have a good enough zoom. But it's a big squirrel, it's very big for a squirrel. Yeah. We're looking for Malabar giant squirrel. Any luck? No. no. I can see it when I'm not using the binoculars, but as soon as I put the binoculars on, it's good zoom though. You can't see it? Come here, come here. So you can see this tree, see? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's walking. Yeah, I'm yeah. Can you see now? Yeah, but not in the binoculars, I can't find it. Yeah, it's very <laughs> So it's the end of this tour. That was beautiful. I really enjoyed it. I think we were really lucky. We have some other plans for this afternoon, but we're not sure yet if we're going to get tickets for that. So let's cross our fingers and we'll see what happens later. We're back at the National Park entry and it's a weekend, so it's full of people. This morning it was way quieter. Let's see if we will be happy and get a ticket for the activity that we want to do this afternoon because you couldn't book them online. They were completely booked up out online. I think there might be a few tickets to buy in there, but with this amount of people, not sure, we'll see. So after speaking to some of the rangers, they said there is absolutely no point in us queuing for an hour and a half, because they, well, maybe we should tell you what our plans were. Yeah, so uh, we did the walk this morning, as you saw, and then this afternoon we were planning to come back for the last boat tour on the lake, which is about 3.30, or well, it starts at 3.30, and we were told to get here for about quarter past one, 1.30, and hopefully we should and get so we did. tickets. 
but today there's a huge group of students and that seems to be the problem maybe that's not yeah because it's the weekend so uh there's like 250 seats 80 of those are online booking and the rest are, are available for people just to come and show up but and there are that here. many people in or the more. queue already <laughs> so it would be a complete waste of time so we now have to think about whether we want to do this tomorrow instead if we do this tomorrow we have to pay the park fee once again yeah which is another 10 quid well, it's not much I mean, it's not the end no of the world. no it's not the end of the world but we we have to think about it we're gonna stay around here maybe get some nice shots of some monkeys or something like Plenty that because there are plenty of monkeys here <laughs> including this one me yeah all oh, right okay it's just <laughs> so bear with us while we're thinking days later and we've been thinking about how we were going to continue this video so what did we do we ended up booking a half day rafting tour we paid 2200 rupees per person included in that are obviously the activity the trekking and the bamboo rafting but also tea snacks and a food package I assume that would be lunch yeah that's what we're doing so come along <laughs> So the little bird we saw was at Malabar. This <laughs> new <being> fresh. <laughs> Malabar, this new fresh. Yeah. Malabar, this new fresh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and how many bird types are there here? Three hundred and six. Three hundred and six bird types. Okay. That's a big selection. Yeah. Many varieties. So today again, we have spotted bison, and I can even see some babies over there. I think. Yeah, come on, baby. This is the main one. Are the big one? Yeah, the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Two. The guide asked us what we saw on the nature walk and when I mentioned elephants he was like ooh so maybe that was a quite a rare wildlife spotting moment for us so I'm not having my expectations too high today to spot elephants but obviously if we do again that would be amazing and maybe even closer up would be better so along this whole trail you'll see a lot of elephant poop and we just spotted some really fresh elephant poop from this morning so they've obviously been here so everyone thinks when they come to pay a tiger is ever going to see a tiger what are the chances yeah, three times. Yeah? Three times. Three times you've seen? Yeah. When? Like this year? Very really long. Very long time? Yeah. Okay. So you're basically very unlikely to see a tiger, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But elephants, a little bit more chance. Yeah. Because they're more than a thousand, like you said. <laughs> and uh, bison, many. <laughs> so if you come in here, have an expectation that you're probably not going to see a tiger. So here's the leftovers of a bison. Well, looks like you got like a hip. We got a face and it's cool to see it. It's loads of it around, it's loads of leftover bones. Our park yeah, ranger Avish just uh, told us that his colleague yesterday was attacked by a bison. Uh, apparently it's the old bison or the old elephants or the old animals that are losing their sight, partial vision or maybe partially deaf. They're the ones that can't really sense things properly, they get a bit more wary and they're the ones that are more likely to attack people and uh, he had to have five stitches on the back of his head and a scratch on his arm. Good to know if you come in here watch out for the oldies, the grumpy ones. We're not sure what's going on we arrived to the bamboo rafting spot like really fast we thought we were going to be walking for about three hours but actually it, it was just felt one like hour. we were speed walking the walk the other day we even though we rushed because we had people behind us we did still have time to look for animals. Now let's see if the bamboo rafting can redeem it. We can redeem it and get us in a little bit of a better mood because it's it's not nice to to go on a walk like this and feel like you're rushing. Yeah, we'll see you on the raft.
I think this is a case of redemption, guys. The uh, bamboo raft in here is really beautiful. We've seen two kingfishers already, egrets, cormorants, some ducky things, all flying around, fishing. Yeah, it's really beautiful, peaceful. And, uh, it's really nice to be on the water rather than above it. Okay, we're trying to figure out what's going on. We've got a long stick. Maybe he's going to use that to push us along in the water. Ah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So how is he actually going to do that? He's going to stick it down in the floor and push us along. He's making a new raft. Yeah, <laughs> making a new raft on the spot. Ah, oh, there's the wind. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> This is turning into an adventure drafting tour. We got four people paddling, the guy here using the stick. There's too much wind. <laughs> too much wind apparently. Too much wind, it's choppy. But uh, yeah, the, the teamwork is getting it done and we're just standing here watching, sitting here watching everyone work. Like the king and the queen. <laughs> A broken skull of a bison. Apparently, they weigh about 1,000 kilograms, one ton. The male, the big The male, male, that's amazing. The guide said mm -hmm. that the uh, bison was killed by a tiger. I mean, imagine the size of a tiger to be able to kill a 1,000 kilogram bison. I mean, that must have been a fight. Oof. Well, if you want to see a fight like that, I guess you can just search on Google or on YouTube bison versus tiger or something and you'll get a few clips. So the little clip you saw there was of a flying ant's nest and uh, apparently if you get bitten by them it's going to be pretty painful and uh, I've been bitten by a few ants in the past and it does hurt if you get a red one or one of the green ones. Uh, we're actually hanging a little bit far back from the group all the way over there, over there, because uh, they're <laughs> chin wagging a lot, a lot of talking going on, and uh, we want to try and see some wild animals, if possible. Yeah? And if everyone is talking all the time, the animals are gonna go into the forest and not come out this way, so you know. We're hanging back with Adish. Right? Your name, Adish? Ashwin. Oh. Ashwin. You got it wrong. Ashwin. You couldn't remember it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, our names uh, yeah. go with my head. I remember faces, but not my names. Yeah. Ashwin, okay. Got it, got it, got it. So yeah, to sum it up guys, I think the nature walk is much better value for money. For 400 rupees, you get to see all those things we did. We were lucky to see the elephants, of course. But we compare that to the bamboo rafting, which costs 2,200 per person, which is, I think, five and a half times more expensive. You know, it's much better value for money. It's not that much longer in terms of time. 
Um, yeah, so for, for us, I think we really enjoyed the nature walk. We definitely thought it was a good bang for your buck. So as always, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification button, and drop us a comment. Have you done any nature hikes or anything like this in national reserves or tiger reserves? And what did you think of our experience and the two different experiences? So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.